Alright, um, almost time to uh, get ass raped at home by LSU, who I just found out are ranked number 11, so I guess they are expected to make a big return this year. But if they still have Jarrett Lee, I guess there's always that chance, right? Um, anyway, tonight I'm going to say LSU wins uh, 35-13. to 13. Uh, I'll kind of give the boys a little bit of credit. We're a little better than last year. I'm going to go with 35-13 to 13 LSU. Obviously going to hope, but... <laughs> Uh, don't, don't get mad at me, guys. I, I don't see it. But we're on national TV, which is always cool. Even if we're just going to get raped on national TV, it's still going to be fun. So, uh, Florida raped. Florida's just about to wrap up their game, 62-3. to three. Uh, So they looked great. Tebow, excellent way to start his season. Uh, Texas beat up on uh, Monroe. Right now, Virginia Tech and Alabama is going on. That's actually going to be something interesting. I'll keep my eye on. I watched part of the Ohio State game, and uh, it was a tight game. And I liked what I saw from Terrell Pryor, but <coughs> he did have a couple mistakes there at the end. But they pulled it out. Uh, Penn State looked solid. The Iowa game was crazy. I, I didn't get to watch it, but I know what happened. USC looked awesome. I mean... The running game looks like they can just it can just carry them all the way. Uh, Notre Dame looked really good. Uh, Lou Holtz actually looks really smart right now. Oklahoma State not impressed with when I watched them. Their offense looked really confused, but you know the defense was very good today, which is probably more important to them than the um, the offense because they know it's going to be there. So, I uh, just finished watching BYU upset Oklahoma, and I know we got some Oklahoma fans on here, so... Sorry, it's... <coughs> I, I mean, this... Not technically, but I... It kind of ends your season before it even starts. I mean, you still got to play OSU, you got to play Texas, you got to play Okie State, you even got to play, you know, Tech. And Tech probably won't be that good this year, but they're still not going to be bad, so... It's a tough way to see it end. I know Bradford got hurt, and they said it looked like he'll be okay for next week, but uh, how much does it matter now? I mean, I mean, this wasn't a home game, but it was closer to Oklahoma than it was to uh, BYU, I think, so there you go. Uh, you know, I watched most of this game, and, you know, BYU's defense just kept hanging strong. They kept making a play every time they needed it. They stayed within striking distance, and, well, here we are. So, big ups to the BYU guys. I, I know they're ranked, and, you know, this isn't a huge upset, but it is an upset. And it was kind of, you know, heartwarming to see a significant underdog like that go into Oklahoma, well, you know, into Texas, I guess, and come out with the victory in, in a great game. Uh, anyway, the Huskies start in five minutes. I'm going to watch part of it at least. We'll see how far I get along in it. So, it, it, it won't be pretty, guys, but I'm going to stick through it as long as I can because I actually have somewhere to be tomorrow kind of early, so we'll see if I finish it. But, uh, this Virginia Tech-Alabama game, really good start. Nobody's disappointing. It's 17-16 v. Virginia Tech right now. So let's go Huskies and see you guys later.